All right, Friday update. Apologize, it's a couple of days late. I'm on vacation out of town, but here we are. The insanity at Holman Square this morning just really makes you scratch your head. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around and digest of what's going through a person's mind. But I can tell you, it's not that hard to kind of stretch your imagination and understand that criminals are just emboldened by this mayor, by this superintendent, by the policies of this police department of no chase, no vehicle, no foot, pretty much nothing. Let the criminals get away with everything they are doing repeatedly. That goes to Kim Fox, that goes to Tim Evans and the judicial system as a whole. Um, we have a chance to change it here. November is right around the corner. Early voting is starting. We really need to be activated. Our friends, our family, all across this city and state can be heard loud and clear about enough is enough and civilized society and law and order need to be the law and rule of the day going forward. You know, some of these politicians are even eating their own. Governor Pritzker threw two of his own under the bus last week. Uh, one, oh, actually two of them both deserve it, but let's take Jones out of the equation with the uh, fraud and everything else included in there. Uh, let's go to Michael Hastings, who's got a hotly contested seat in the Southern and Southwest Burbs for uh, state senate against a Plainfield police officer. Pat Sheehan has got a great chance and likelihood of taking Hastings out and ending the dynasty that was the Hastings family name. But Pritzker said he should resign. <laughs> As the election is starting kick off right now, he's basically calling for Hastings to resign. Wrap your head around this because of domestic abuse allegations, and rightly so. I'm not saying he didn't do the right thing. But it's kind of ironic Pritzker's calling for Hastings to resign right now at such a kind of tipping point in the election. But he didn't do anything when Kim Fox, didn't even have a comment to make when Kim Fox was accused of domestic abuse and not only accused of it and admitted having some kind of contact with her husband, but her husband told the police point blank, she bullies him all the time. I mean, and nothing. The news media, let it die, nothing. That's not good enough. Let's rewind a couple years ago to the current Speaker of the House, Chris Welch, who had a couple domestic abuse allegations against him. And even all of these female legislators who are so woke and, oh my God, the woman's to be believed, didn't even challenge. None of them. Well, maybe a couple. I think uh, Representative Kelly Cassidy was one of the few who basically said this isn't right. Uh, these allegations are serious and they need to be looked at and not just swept under the rug because they wanted to make history with the first black speaker in Illinois. But that's just, they're willing to sell their soul for their own every single time and look the other way when it benefits them. It's never been about right and wrong. That's why these neighborhoods have never changed in 10, 20, 30, 50 freaking years. These neighborhoods don't change because they don't give a damn about the neighborhoods. They give a damn about getting reelected. Well, now's our chance to do something about it vote and make sure we start making the changes necessary not only for our city but for our employment going forward and our families uh, one more update i want to give i spoke about it at the general meeting last week the city been playing games with the second part of this contract mercilessly we requested the panel with the AAA. the process was very simple the contract calls for the panel members being seven and the city striking the first three, and we strike the second three. The AAA had a different kind of uh, avenue of uh, alternating strikes. That's not what our contract calls for, so we were not obligated to follow that procedure that the AAA put forth. It was back to what the collective bargaining agreement says. The city challenged it, wanted clarification, got a clock reset. It just is one game after another after another. So they strike their three names, we strike our three names, we're left with Ed Venn. Now, Ed Venn discloses something that is very well known to the Lodge and the city. <laughs> he hasn't been in this law firm for a very long time, but his association with a law firm that had done business that might be in conflict, blah, blah, blah. The city now basically goes back to the AAA, stalling for even more time, saying, well, we need to know and have a discussion if we're gonna challenge this and try and uh, make him basically bow out and get a new panel. When that was never going to be a possibility, but again, stalling for more time. They had till Friday to come up with uh, a response and the response was they're fine with Ed Ben. 
I mean, it is just disgusting how resistant they are to getting this contract wrapped up. It is not the Lodge in any way, shape, or form. We have given them dozens of dates and basically gotten about 10% of the dates we've said were available for them to do this. Everybody remember how many dates they had available when this COVID policy kicked forward? They couldn't wait every day available, pretty much. You name it, and they wanted to actually bargain it and go to arbitration over it. It's disgusting, but that's where we're at. The first telephone conference call with the arbitrator is set for October 6th. I will have an update Friday before I head back home. Uh, until then, everybody be safe.